Hey guys, welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday at, uh, I'm trying to see it's around the chair, at 10 a.m. <laughs> and we take things that we get for free or close to it and we give them makeovers. And today we're doing a chair makeover. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that share button, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna shop the products that we're gonna use today, you can go to jamierayvintage.com. We already have one chair slightly prepped here. Um, because we wanted to go ahead and get started. And then we have another chair undone. So we're going to give you all the steps. And then while that's drying, we'll move over to this chair. Someone popped out the, uh, the buttons. Yes. Yeah, so I thought about, we'll probably use some sort of string and fluff it out later. So these are leather. We're painting leather today. We've got some salt wash that we mixed in. That's mostly on the base of the legs, but some of it is on the seat. We got to get them dry. You're going to be heat gunning here in a minute so that we can sand them smooth. And then we're gonna try a paint inlay on there. We do have some like water damage coming through, but we're gonna uh, like work with it and make it look like an old chateau that's broken down. And then we put the chairs in there. That's kind of the theme. It's gonna be very shabby chic. We're using La Chasse. Is that what, how we pronounce that, Chasse? Sure, go Is with that it. the one? La Chasse, that's what I told, was told is how you pronounce it. So we're super excited of it. There we go. to get started on this. I'm going to move this one. Actually, can you move this just over to the other table? So yeah, I just wanted to show them when we were getting started here and uh, give them an idea of what we've got going. So we haven't actually heat gunned this. Jamie just painted this about 15 minutes ago. And the DIY paint, it's apothecary, right? Yes. The DIY paint and the salt wash is actually drying pretty quick on this leather. And my plan is to do more coats of different paints on the base of it uh but i wanted to get this going because it has to dry so we can put the paint inlay on it because we're going to be we're supposed to use liquid patina but we're going to be using big top to put the inlay on because we don't have any patina no zeb i didn't want you to move that chair sweetie this chair has to go that chair has to go you're going to paint okay i'm going to just bring it over here and he got it all right well swap me spots then either way <laughs> i just need more space so you're going to have to move way over there all right, now I need that one back. All okay, right, I'll bring it back. We're getting the plan going today. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, before anybody's like, oh my gosh, those are priceless antiques. You they see, are not. You see the leather's in pretty tough shape. We got this divot because something was sitting on it over in the barn slash it'll come shop back. garage situation. It'll, it'll fluff back up. They were made with foam. They're not old chairs, but they are beautiful. At most, they might be from like the 80s. They're well made. 70s. But they're the not. Late 80s. <laughs> yeah. They're not antique. So if you don't want me to paint the wood, look away now because it's going to get going. So we've got apothecary right here. It's mixed with salt wash. Where did you go with my salt wash? I'm going to need more. Um, it's over here. So I'm going to do the base. So we get asked a lot, what is salt wash? Why are we using it? It's a paint additive and it makes the paint really nice and thick. You can get a lot of good texture. It also helps with adhesion. It dries rock hard and sticks to almost any surface. We haven't found a surface it doesn't stick well to. And it doesn't change the paint's color or the adhesion that the paint had either. Yeah, it makes it sticky. It, it makes better. it better. It doesn't like degrade from it's sticking and we will get the inlays on today if we do not get the base of the chair finished because i'm going to do lots of layers we'll do a video on that friday because we have a few projects that we need to get finished up anyways so anyways you can mix the paint however you want it's supposed to be one-to-one -one. diy paint is so thick you don't really need honestly one -to -one. looking at them on camera like this chair looks cool you can tell it's kind of old and worn but this one's already looking good I it's like already it. good. I'm practicing all my faux paint techniques because I want to do some fun finishes on the doors of the church. Okay. 80s is old. That's 40 years ago. Um, I resemble that remark because I am... Uh, is my mic on? Yes. Yeah, you're I was born in the 80s and I turned 40 this year. So it's not old. I want to put a uh, paint blue over the top of apothecary so that way we can have like layers of blues and greens. So that's going to happen next. I'm not really stippling it in a few places. I might I'm just giving this really a good texture. We might have like some uh, grease to contend with here. 
It's not grease. It's water stains. Or oil It's okay because I want it to look old. It'll be okay. Once we add the inlay, all of that will go. It'll get lost in there. We're going to be using bits and pieces of that. Okay. And Zeb's probably going to be working on the inlay while I paint this chair. So uh, this blue is apothecary. Um, and it's more of a like a green color with a blue undertone. And we're going to put our new hate blue over the top of it. So this is, this is the, uh, it's DIY. Okay. I can't paint the, sideways. The clay base. I just got paint on my jeans. <laughs> not the first time. Zeb's always like, you got to paint not in front of it. I don't, I don't, still haven't figured out exactly how you do that. Arms like. like you can do it because your arms are like you get your arm out there and reach you got long arms i'm short so luckily this time we had two pieces that were the same so we could step it out we actually have a third chair but i don't know where the seat is on that that we one's have four not chairs. are there four of them yeah but the other ones i'm gonna have to the other it. ones are in pretty sad shape they need a lot of work yeah the other ones make these look like rock stars so it's all right it's okay if I get a little of the salt wash mixture on the leather, but I am going to come back with mostly just a pop to carry. Did you grab that sandpaper like I asked I you? I have to? like okay, five good. sheets. Perfect. Does salt wash feel gritty? Um, yeah, it does. That's the point. Um, you can sand it smooth. I swear. You can sand it smooth uh, and then you get layered texture quick? and it does smooth out. Let me borrow your brush real fast. I've got a spot over here. If you want texture, but not texture, texture, like not grit, then you could just add paint frosting to your paint and that just makes it thicker. But we want a lot what of- What do you need, dude? You want to say hi? You can say Harrington hi. Harrington wants to show off his new motorcycle helmet. <laughs> He's proving he is real and he does exist. You know, when we're over at the church, oh, he hearted you. Heart, you. You heart them? When oh, we're over working sir. at the church, he's like, don't film me. Don't film me. Over here, he's like, let me make a cameo on your live stream. <laughs> no. They're called, you raid my fridge too much. You owe me. <laughs> I love you. Be careful. He took, he took some time off because he was going to go to California, so he's not working 100 hours this week. But then the California trip didn't pan out, so he's he's like, I'm keeping the time off. I need a little break. <laughs> Farm Fresh with white would get you very close to Apothecary. It's a little bit more blue, but really, I wouldn't mix in too many things. It's Farm Fresh is just a gorgeous color. So, yeah, definitely just add some white to it and lighten it up. You could add a little hint of green to make it more green, but yeah. All right, so we're Good getting morning, pretty dry. Rob. You can see here, I've got like these colorations. I don't know if the camera will pick them up right here on the seat bottom. Hopefully, you know, by the time we're all done and this gets all the layers and potentially, uh, We'll, we'll see how the inlay goes. We're experimenting with you here today. So if it doesn't work out, we're going to show you what not to do. Well, we know that you can use liquid patina on it, but we don't we're have out. any. We were like, oh, yeah, we had these grand plans. And then we're getting going through our paint cabinet. We're like, oh, no liquid patina. We've been doing too much decoupage. I swear that we did. But, <laughs> yeah, we use, we use liquid patina a lot. So we'll have to grab some from the shop today. Okay, so on the fabric of the chair, I'm using just apothecary. Can you pass me the apothecary over yes. there? Hopefully this heat gun's not too loud. It's a little louder than our other one. Could you paint a wall with cottage colors? Yeah, you could. I mean, it's going to take a lot of cottage colors. It's got like a satin sheen on it. Yeah, which is the finish that I use on my... That's what we, when we get wall paint, that's what we get is satin. Unless it's so, a bathroom. I'm using just straight up apothecary on the chair base. 
I might come back with uh, like later and do copper on the details. Oh, that'd be good. But that's going to be in another time because these. these so why copper, not gold? gold. Uh, you could use gold. <laughs> I don't know, maybe gold. No reason. I could use the gold. If it's the very last thing I do, I could use the golden rule wax and highlight a few areas. All right. I think this I've got. Let me see if I can get the camera to show you this spot I'm concerned about. It looks like the chair has been oiled or something. It's fine. Let's go ahead and sand it. I will. I'm going to say, I, oh, when I we gotta put get the big back top, here. It's probably going to bring out more. Let me just warm up a couple spots on the back. So they, they start drying okay. faster. This is just apothecary and I'm kind of going back and forth with it. No I salt wash in that? Strokes. Not really. I mean, there might be some left on my brush. Pinch of salt wash. You can totally sit on these chairs when we're done. Leather isn't like a soft fabric anyways. And this leather is so broken down that when we sand it and do all the stuff to it, it'll it's, be fine. It's pretty pliable even with the paint on it. Yeah. It's okay if it cracks. I have totally painted apothecary, not apothecary, leather with straight up DIY paint. I've actually sprayed a chair and then got it wet and done leather like that. My favorite thing we did was like a, it was like a coffee table with a leather inlay in it. And that turned out really cool. Or maybe it was an end table, something, some sort of table. Um, it might, the leather's already cracked, so I can guarantee you this leather will crack. That's why we're sanding it. And then we'll put the inlay on it. And then we'll probably wax it and sand it some more and make it look really old. But this leather is already cracked. All right, let's take a That's break. Why it's a good that. candidate for this. Um, if I was going to do this and I wanted like a neat look, I would still paint it with a DIY, sand it really good, and then just use wax and then buff the wax. 220 grit on the sandpaper. Cottage Colors is only in pints at this point. They um, are planning on coming out with more sizes, but it's going to be a hot minute. You can see, let me bring you in close so you can see why the clay paint is so magical because it's sticking on there really well until I sand it, but it powders. It doesn't roll or gum up or. or and oddly enough, the cottage color goofy. sands really well too. I was really worried about it, but I haven't had any problems thus so far. So let me see, let me show you the powder coming off. What of grit of sandpaper are you using them? 220. 220. I feel like anybody that makes 220 sandpaper should like give us a royalty because that's like our go-to. <laughs> it's just a great grit. It's not so high that it doesn't remove any material. We're not polishing here because I think I feel like once you get up to 400, you're really going for like a high polish look, on, especially on paint. Yeah. But look at that. It's just powdering off. If we were to seal it, it would no longer be porous and it won't powder like that. So that's why you seal the DIY paint. When I'm done with this chair, you can just set it outside in the sun. Yeah, I will. We'll get it going on the next one. So what this is doing with the sanding, it's going to even things out a little bit. It's going to get all the high spots and it's going to keep that leather real pliable. You can see how it's still moving and that paint's not coming off. It's basically dyed it because it's so pigmented. How do you do it? A thing would do on pleather. It would be fine. If this pleather is very dry, so it's soaking up the paint like crazy. I guess if it's like, see your face in it kind of pleather, you might want to sand it up or use a primer or something, but. We are starting to get some of those cracks back, which. Bring the cracky backy. That's fine. You know me, I love good cracks and paint, good crack and paint. So the big key to this whole thing is we want to, when we're all done, oh, had a little goop back there from the salt wash that hadn't dried up. When we're all done, we're going to want to get all this dust off of here before we do the inlay. So I'll probably take a damp cloth or something. Um, I can go grab you a oh, rag. Yeah. Well, it's not really a rag, a microfiber cloth. Is that what you want, Sidney? Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So 
Oh, my my hot glue gun fix. We had a little hole over here, and I'm trying. I to told you not to sand that. You done? Oh, it's because the paint's underneath it isn't I dry. <laughs> Which is wait for it. We'll fix so it, and then I'll hot glue. So we're gonna hot glue gun that again because once it's all painted, you won't notice this little hole in the leather. Also, we got a new hot glue gun. It's pretty great. Let's, I'll, uh, I'm sure we're going to bring on the comments of the, I can't believe you're using hot glue. I'm like, listen, Linda. Well, we debated on the stuff we had on hand, which is always how we do things. What's on hand? I promise you these chairs are going to look awesome and they're going to hold up just the way we need them to. Caitlin, can you find our affiliate link for, for the hot glue? glue? It works so, off of the Milwaukee M18 batteries, and we've been looking, we've been hoping Milwaukee would make one, and they hadn't, and we found this on Amazon. And it he, it's got an amazing tip on it, and it heats up good, and it's not heavy. Some of these battery powered ones are heavy. I've just got a uh, 2.0 battery in here, and it's it stands up really good, and the trigger works well. I'm just super happy with it. Well, this is the way the story goes on that. Zeb sent me to Harbor Freight to get some tires, and he said, just FaceTime me when you get there and I'll tell you which ones to get. I was like, sweet. So I'm in the aisle and I'm FaceTiming and waiting and waiting and waiting. And Zeb is not responding. I was mowing the grass. Because he's mowing the lawn because he forgot that he sent me on an errand. So I see that Harbor Freight has a glue gun. And I think, well, maybe that'd be a good option. So I don't have to buy the Ryobi. But it was going to be 100 bucks by the time I buy the base, the battery, whatever. And then I thought, there has to be somebody that makes a Milwaukee compatible glue gun. So I got on the Amazon and I just looked up Milwaukee compatible glue gun and lo and behold, they had one. So it's not a Milwaukee glue gun, but it works with the Milwaukee battery. And I love it. And then 15 minutes later, Zeb finally answered the FaceTime and I was able to buy the tires. It was like 10 minutes. It was 15. All right, let me bring you back. I you was guys there. been staring at that chair seat for five minutes now. I didn't even notice. I'm just over here finishing my chair, telling a story, a little storytelling situation. Story time. Story time. And I'm not worried about full coverage on this because, like I said, the wood on this is going to get dry brushed. It's going to get uh, cottage colors on it. So it's it's got a lot of steps to go, but the fabric is probably just going to stay about the carry. I actually thought about like wait, what are the cottage? Where are we doing cottage colors on here? On over the top of the salt wash mix. Oh. But I thought about what about like doing a, I don't know, a dry brush on that before we inlay it. Is that too much? Yeah, I think we I think we'll lose the inlay. Well, like the inlay's the, black. Where's it like going to go? Like the detail on it. All right. Okay, so the, I just used a paper towel. Making sure I got most of it. Is there anywhere on top that I missed them? I can't um, see. Yes, all along the whole top. Okay. <laughs> I need a not swiveling bar stool. A non swiveling bar stool. Here you go. And then I will do the top. So just. You also missed the front of this leg. Oh, okay. The whole front? Yep. And there's a spot on the front of this one, too. Okay. Well, I'll. And there's that. a spot here, too. <laughs> I am doing a little bit of stippling here and there, but not like all over. Okay. Oh yeah, you are correct in that. I miss like all inside here. I'll get to comments in a little bit. Caitlin is on there though. If you have questions, you can answer them. Maybe some of the stuff is new information. She's she's pretty good about answering. She's pretty most good. Questions. Well, she knows, but I'm just thinking about the cottage color. Some of that's new. All right, so Fran K. Green. Hey, Jamie, can I paint fabric with this paint? I have two chairs and are in our master bedroom. Paint what paint? Paint Do fabric. Oh, yeah. So it just really depends on the kind of fabric. Like we're painting leather. So leather, I just go for it and paint it. If it's like a fabric with a nap, I use a squirt bottle and I essentially try to dye the fabric. Oh, they want to... You're, you're lucky. I'm here looking at comments. I caught it. Hey, Kara, how you doing? Well, we like five-year-old crafters. They're the best. They're uninhibited by people's opinions, and they just do what they want. I'm, I think I'm And everything turns out great because they're five. I think I'm a five-year-old crafter at heart. All right, so this is the get the dust off of it phase. 
I, I, dry, I wiped most of the dust off that was dry with the cloth. And now I'm just coming back and getting the rest of it. And it's okay if some of the leathers like pokes through underneath. Yeah, it, it almost it's a it's, great color. Okay. All right. So so you thought you were done with the dry paper towel or cloth or whatever you were using, and then you go hit it with the wet and you're like, oh, I did not get all that dust. <clears throat> well, we are also gonna put big top on it. I think you should put a coat of big top. Let it dry and I don't know. It needs a, it needs a lot of big top. And you gotta be fast. So you gotta be ready ahead of time because big top dries a lot faster than liquid patina. So we're gonna have to be ready with the inlay. Oh, do we even have a squirt bottle ready? Oh, probably I do not, not think we do. I have one under the kitchen sink. I'll get that. I'm almost done painting this chair. Just remember to close the curtain for me. Yeah, nobody wants so to see it. So my eye twitch, kitchen. my eye doesn't twitch on the replay. Okay. Did I get it? Can you check over the chair and make sure it's good? Yeah. I'm just finding a new brush. All right. So DIYs big top. We're going to just do a coat on here. But don't do it yet. Why? What am I we got to have for? the inlay ready to put in it. I thought you said to do a coat of Big Top and then let it dry. and then. Well, then I thought over. better of that because then it has to dry. All, I don't know. It's not a good idea. You don't want it to have to dry twice? No. Okay. I'm like, oh, we got to be ready. Sorry. All right. We'll I'm get not ready trying to here. be bossy, but I think that I am today It's okay to be bossy. Sometimes you got to say what you want. <laughs> well, I'm really good at that. If you don't say it, I'm not going to know and I'm going to do my own thing and then you'll be grumpy at me all day. I'd rather right. you just said what you mean. I'm going to move this chair and out onto the back patio to dry. Okay. Now that we got the plastic off, let me see if this shows a little better. Outside? So this is the IOD, the, one of their new inlays that came out last week. I think it was last week. It's already been a week. La chasse, la chaise. I don't know how you say that. I don't speak French, but this is going on. We're going to call it the chassis, but it's la chasse. And it has, it has the big, the big girls play in here. That's the big one. And then it has four smaller ones. So the girls, you can see there, that's, that's the whole design there. All right. Are we doing a small one? We decided on a small one? Um, I don't know. I haven't seen them yet. Like in real time. I've seen them on the back. Okay. So I think. So this one looks like some guys chasing some birds. This one, we're going on a walk in the woods. Let's see. What are you doing on your phone over there? You got all quiet. Odelia's. Don't get distracted. Odelia's picking up my stuff and she's like, I need you to. I like this one with the swing a lot. What do you guys think? All right. Sorry, Smith's canceled my order. Oh no. I know, I know. I actually think this would be great, Jamie. Let me see. Let's see. You can see on camera there. Oh, um, but what are you gonna do around the edges? Like, I don't want it to look like the- Like that's... it won't look like it's floating cause it's not square. Okay, but I, I wanted to cover like Oh, you what wanna, does the bigger one look like? You want to cover the entire seat? I think it'll be fine just this. How about we do just this, and then if it needs more, then we can. Okay. Your pouty lip doesn't work on me. You know that. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. We're going to do it. I will I'll I will cut the corners. Yes. I just think if we try to go over the edge, it's going to be too much. I would love to go over the edge because that's how I roll. But these designs aren't Let me like just, that. Can I just see the big one? Oh, yeah. They're all they're all designed like out. giant. Yeah. Okay. All right. I am gonna cut the corners. Uh, yeah, these will be for sale. Here's this.
thing though, like to ship, like these chairs are probably, because by the time I get done, it, cause it's gonna take a whole lot more than an hour to get them done. They're probably gonna be in the $180 range each. And then shipping them, depending on where you live, it's probably gonna cost another $100 minimum to box these up and ship them. Yeah, so they don't come apart. they'd probably be somewhere around 280 to 290 a chair. Okay. But they're gonna be good. They're gonna take me a hot minute though. That's why I'm like, these may be the video on Friday because they have a lot more layers coming in. You know, while you do that, I guess I can start working on um, the all the different layers I wanna put on the bottom. Is that all right? We're gonna bring you up higher and shake the camera around and then bring you down. I guess I'll just wash this brush. There we go. Hopefully I don't bump that too much. Okay, we're doing big top. We've not done an inlay with big top, but we're doing it here with you. This might be some grand experiment. <laughs> Life is a grand experiment. I'm going to just get coverage on it so that it's all got the same sheen. And then I'll do, I'll go back over where I'm going to do the inlay. Although I am probably going to tint my paint a little bit, my big top. So this is going to seal it and then it won't be porous anymore, meaning you can wipe it down without Yeah, it would the... be about $600, especially you, Jane. I love you, but y'all are in New York. I need like a, does anybody watch Star Trek where they like beam stuff? I'm going to need that to be a thing. Yeah, then you just got to pay for the power, right? All right, now I'm going to do a nice, thick, as thick as I can coat over. Okay, so I've got the new color here, and I am bringing it in oh. down here. We'll have to show them. They're not going to be able to see that. Because right. I'm up. I got like a top see. view going. They can see. Look, it's coming. People always say, oh, hey, blue is green. Look it over the top of the screen. It's not green. <clears throat> oh, goodness. Oh, can you do it? Is that the right direction? Yes. Okay. You don't have enough um, patina back here or big top. Here, let me help you out. Hold on. Well, we're on now. That's where we're, it's going to live. We're committed, but you don't, it's not it's, wet. It's all down. wet. It's absorbing it good. I think it's going to stick really well. I'm just going to get in the air bubbles and the wrinkles out. I have you a brayer over there. A brayer? Yeah, I got you a brayer. Oh. Oh, that works really well. I know. I got you. Because of all the texture and the salt wash, I could just kind of lightly glide my brush over the top with this uh, paint blue. And my brush is also a little wet, I'm so it's kind of thinned it down. So it's they fine. Can see. Oh, that wasn't dry over there. I do have a couple spots I'm going to need to rub down with my finger. Then spray it. You got the sprayer ready? It's right there with water. And then you got to heat gun it, which you're not really technically supposed to do, but. I don't know what else you're going to do. Got to get this adjusted to a mist. It's not misting. <laughs> well, it's made for cleaning, so it doesn't, doesn't mist. We need the turquoise iris bottle. We have them at home, at the shop, not at home. And the struggle is real. I'm just going to dab because I don't want it to be like sopping wet. It'll take all day to dry. Don't worry. I'm just standing on my kitchen island. I'm not worried. I'm not scared at all. You're not scared? That's good. Nope. Okay, now at this point, we need to get it dry. So that's that's coming next. It's very awkward to paint Oops, up I here. I smeared that paint. Don't smear it. Hold 
There we go. I'll pull you back so you can see more of what Jamie's doing. I don't know that anybody wants to see this. Yeah, they do. You standing on the kitchen island. Don't hit your head on that beam above, though. I probably will now that you said something. So I'm just going to heat gun the bottom here. There we go. It's been a very involved project. We haven't answered many questions. <laughs> Hopefully, Caitlin's still there and didn't have to. I didn't even... Every now and then, she's got to be like, hey, I got to go get my boys. <laughs> I kind of want to drip the paint down, but I'll have to wait till you're done. Yeah, don't do that on my inlay, please. Like what? Like a, like a wash? Drip it down? No, just like drip the paint. You had a whole vision dreaming up of this last night. I didn't think about this till this morning. When we grab the chairs out of the barn. Hold on, I gotta practice because I wanna do, I'm just lightly brushing guys because I have so much texture from the paint finished below. It's almost like a dry brush, but I gotta practice my artistic finishes before I commit to one for the front door. People are like, don't paint your front door, leave it natural. I'm like, that door's falling apart. You knew when you made that comment that that ain't, was never going to happen. Also, it's falling apart. It's not even old. It looks like from the 90s. It's got leaded glass in it that I'll probably have to replace because one of the panes is broken. Yeah, we might just glue it for now. I want to put antique doors there, but. It's going to be a few years, a few days. I don't know, however long until I find them. Oops. I'll have Zeb show you the up close of where we're at with the paint finish. There is crackle in it because of the salt wash. Yeah, I and I heat it gunned thick. it. It probably wouldn't have crackled, but I heat gunned it. Yeah, that's always good. So if you've got the salt wash mixture on there with the DIY paint and you want it to crackle, just heat gun it. And you got to put it on pretty thick too. And think of like dirt when you when it gets dry in the sun, how it cracks because DIY paint, which is in my base layer, the clay based paint, um, it, it crackles because it dries. The moisture leaves and it leaves a good little crack. All right, I'm gonna let that cool off. All right, I'm just gonna finish going around the edge. Let me here. see if I can show you this. All right, you can flip it around if you want to show in the back where the crackle is. I'm also gonna bring it down because that's too high to deal with. Or we could just do the front. Yeah, just do the front and show them. You're. It's, it's like a heavy dry brush. <laughs> well, some places it's heavier, some places it's lighter. It's going to be good. Or it's going to be bad. I don't know. One of the three. One of the good or bad or okay. Those are your options. All right. Let me look at comments over here. Is that haint blue you're using? They're saying it's great with the apothecary. Yep. It's haint blue. It is a good layered look with the apothecary. So Sherry, she she did, we did apothecary first, and now she's kind of brushing over lightly, not full coverage, almost a dry brush with the haint blue with the cottage colors. Because the salt wash has a lot of texture to it. So you can just drag your brush across the salt wash and hit the high spots. And then anywhere where I added extra texture is going to be more texturized. Is that a word? Texturized? So Jane asked a good question. So no sealing the DIY clay paint before the new paint. You, you don't have to. You they could. might blend together a little bit depending on how heavy you are with your brush. But if it's dry and you're just going over it, the cottage color's got a sealer in it. You That could be your last coat. Well, I'm going to seal it because it's got 
it's got areas where the DIY is still exposed. Connie Shoemaker, where do we come up with all our ideas? My well, brain is mostly we just like to try new things and we're like, well, we'll see if this will work. We'll show everybody on a live stream all at once. If it doesn't, it doesn't work. <laughs> but also, um, so I'm probably off camera here. Also, I spend a ton of time, as does Zeb, um, on Pinterest. When we go, when we travel, we see finishes. Um, and then... I also have a pile of magazines and books like this thick that I go through on a regular basis. And so I don't necessarily go to them directly for like inspiration, but I will like refer back to that. Just that I said, like in my mind, it files away and then I see a piece and I'm like, oh, what about this, this and this? And it's like a culmination of a lot of different things that I've seen that I like. And then I just try it out. And you have to be a little bit fearless. Okay. So every, this is the part that can get a little tricky, pulling this paper off of here. We're going to get it wet again. And the mister on this model is not my friend. Okay, there we go. The other thing, too, is if this works, we might do one on the back. I think that would be good. Yeah, the back is flat. It doesn't we can flip it upside clean. down and then do it that way. Okay, I think that's all wet. We're going to let it sit for just a minute. What is the best technique for suede using DIY paint? I would just water it down a little bit and brush thin layers on and then sand it to keep the suede moving. It's gonna definitely change the texture, but that would work. And then um, you could seal the suede with wax. Okay. If you wanted to do an inlay on your suede, your suede will no longer have a nap to it because you have to put something on there to get that inlay to stick. And so once you put like big top or liquid patina on the suede, that's gonna change the texture to something more like a regular leather. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, Pam, yes, Let's there is apothecary with up. salt wash, but I didn't really put salt wash on the fabric, just on the base of the chair. And then I did like a heavy dry brush with DIY cottage color, the Jamie Ray vintage line in haint blue to kind of make the, the uh, base of the chair look different than the fabric. I'm just gonna get where the water beat it up because- I don't want it to be so super soaking. Oh, you know what? We might have done like we did with the other one. No, you're fine. Where we do the, where we... Uh, decoupage it on? Decoupage it on. No, because we had paper. And you got uh, it pretty wet, so this is going to be schmeary. Might not work. Might not work. I'm might. here for the experiment, guys. Oh, I think I did put it on backwards. Someone was like, hey, you put it on backwards. I think you're right. Uh, this is the paint side. That's why oh, it's not sticking. Oh, Zebulon. <laughs> Hold on. Let's get it off real quick, and I'll redo it with a different one. <laughs> I, I told you it was backwards. Sometimes I'm right. See, this is why you have to experiment. I did this for you guys so you could see that it doesn't work back. Here, find another one real quick. I'll paint it's this. It's fine. I'll paint it and we'll go grab our other chair outside. I'm going to put another coat of apothecary once you rip this off. All is not lost. Just this sheet. The sheet is lost. One sheet. It needed an extra coat anyway, right? Mm, I don't know about that. but <laughs> All right, guys. Don't cry over the spilled milk. If don't... you can't laugh at these mistakes, then they'll ruin you. They'll, you go, they'll ruin your day. All right. Let's let this dry okay, let and then we it. need to sand it. Then you're going to sand it and then I'll paint it. Yeah. All right. Find the next one that you think you might want. I was like, man, that paint is smearing when I touch it. One is on top. That is why. You're cute. All right. Let me get another brush. We got a backup chair. <laughs> All, all right here all in the experimenting and you know can't can't be perfect on most things in my case 
Or when your wife says, I think that's backwards. Just saying is all. I wasn't listening. That must have been one of those times when I didn't hear you. I provide for you a second chair. All right, I will paint that. You get this going. Dry? Yes. All this right. is ready to be sanded and um, patinaed. And I will fix this one. <laughs> uh, you know, if it happens off camera, then I'm like, oh, you know, maybe I'll cut that out. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes we leave the mistakes in. But since it's a live stream, you guys get to see all the stuff in real time. In case you were ever wondering what happens when you put an inlay on backwards, now you know. And we're trying to use the patina. And actually, the paper peeled off patina, pretty good. Big or the big top, yeah. Which we haven't done before. Like, man, that paint's really running. And that's why, because you were painting, you were getting the inlay. I'm like, I got some wet. bleeding back here. It's all right. I'm going to use my paper towel that I used earlier. Mm -hmm. Get all this dust off. Okay, then we're coming back with the rag. Oh, I need to fix this. <clears throat> That looks a little dark today. There we go. We'll give you the top down view for a minute. So you could just put the inlay directly in the paint if you want to do that. If you don't want to distress it, you want to try that. Because I was just using the big top so that way I could just sand it. Let's try it with the big top again with the inlay going the right direction because okay. it's stuck good. Okay. It did stick good. That is that is the truth. Luckily, it's all right. It's gone. It's like it never happened. Only a few oh, thousand people will ever know. You were walking through there. I had to paint that you side, so I had to go under the stream. wires. Okay. Where'd the big top go and the brush that was with it? Have you ever mixed navy with clear wax? Um, I haven't, but that sounds good. I feel like it would also look good if you use liquid patina and mix navy with it and made a navy glaze because you can make any color glaze you want with liquid patina. All right, now we're going to get right. these kids and their hiking stick. All right, done. I just realized that I need to put a little bit of salt wash over your hot glue repair here. It's kind of make it look good. Okay, we're going back in, guys. Maybe I won't wash this apothecary brush. I'll just put it in the sink in case I need it. All right. So the side that's darkest is the side that goes down. Yeah. So, I've got it right now. I read the words. And also <laughs> the words should be going the right direction. Yeah. That should have been my first telltale. It's all right. Okay, so this can go outside. Although if I go outside, the dogs are gonna bark at me. Just gonna trim these corners. So that it doesn't mess with the chair. And then we go. One more coat for good measure. Make sure everything's nice and straight. I need to do the dry brush, but a lot of the apothecary on this is still wet with a salt wash, so I'm gonna wait. We got like 14 minutes to bring this home. Oh, I'm doing it again. Oh my goodness, I can't. It's because I picked it away. up. <laughs> I 
what I look like. <laughs> it's time for me to go do some construction. My crafting is my crafting is done today. No, today we're finishing these chairs at last week's dresser and putting that video up on Friday because <laughs> we got to finish some projects. We don't finish them on camera. They don't happen. Okay, that looks good. Is it centered? I mean, I guess at this point, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's just the chair isn't completely flat, so it's it kind of wants to wrinkle around some of the spots. <laughs> Base wife was yelling at the screen. It's okay. You can yell all you want. <laughs> I was here and talked to him about it, and he didn't listen. So, also the camera is slightly crooked. That happens. It might be that the chair's crooked. The cam, so the camera is flat. It's just at an angle to the island, so it's oh, throwing you off. I don't care. You're the one that's always like, I don't like the crooked camera. All right. It's going to be so good. It has to be now. We'll see. Don't mind me. I'm just running, running the business. Will the chairs be used at all, a little or a lot? Yeah, they'll be. By the time we're done, they'll be totally like sealed up and ready to be used. I mean, they're cutesy. They're pretty. I'd put them at a vanity. I probably wouldn't like put them at a dining table. But they'll be structurally sound because Zeb is going to make sure we, he might actually add some braces on the inside, some strapping, and um, they'll be sealed up and. Wipeable. I mean, they're, they're still pretty solid. Blotting. And we're blotting. Yep. Don't tell the IOD sisters. They're going to know. It's fine. I'm sure that they filled hundreds of questions like this. Like, it didn't stick. Did you have it the right direction? Did you prayer this? Yeah, I did. Not a second time. All right, now you can heat gun it, which I don't recommend heat gunning. You guys just let it air dry, but we're live, so we get, we get the joy of heat gunning. So what this inlay is, now that I'm not actually doing anything, and I can talk about it, it's paint, and it's a proprietary blend. I have not tried it out on the new uh, cottage colors, and so I need to do that before I do it on a live video. But it blends with the products that you're using and when you peel it off it's not a sticker it's actual paint that remains and so it's going to look like something hand painted as opposed to something that if you get very close you can tell it's a sticker if your diy paint is hard as a rock um so i have heard of people scraping it out of the can chopping it up putting water in it crushing, and then it, crushing it, putting water in it and reconstituting it. I've never done that, but you could try it. All right. Okay. Now we're going to get it wet again. Yep. So if you're doing this at home, you just let it air dry. And then once the paper's dry, then you get it wet again before you peel it off. When Debbie did her couch video, I don't know if you guys saw that. She's like, I can't get the paper off. I'm like, did you get it wet again? She's like, no. I'm like, did you read the directions? <laughs> I like to give her a little bit of a hard time. And then she got it off. It needs more water in the middle, I think. You don't want to get it too wet because it will, it's, It'll blur the image because it's water soluble, just like the DIY. But I'm just going to go over it. I just want to make sure this is so detailed. All right. OK, here we go. Is it, is it transferring? Yeah, it's a little light. And oh, it's going to be distressed and good. And you can use these multiple times if you are careful taking them off. Yeah, and if there's paint that remains in them, then that paint will go on your second image. No, that's good. You guys, look what happens when I do things right. All right, don't touch it. Like don't boss. touch it. 
Don't touch it. I won't touch it. We're <laughs> going to bring it close. So because the leather had crackles, that carried through to the paint inlay, and it's good. Okay, let's. I'm going to heat gun it real quick, and then we probably need to get one more coat of liquid patina because we got like this little ghosting line here. But well, I, think I was going go to let it dry and then sand it a little along the edges, and then okay. do. And if you're just tuning in, we are going to do more to the edge of this chair as well. It's going to get a bunch of paint layer. So you'll have to stay tuned. It's mostly straight. I leaned a little to the uh, right, it looks like. Yeah, but I wouldn't set this down on top of other paint inlays and get them wet. Got it. It's got the paper between it. It'll be all right. Uh, no, this inlay is wet right here, and that one, and that one. It almost looks like a. Oh, draw. the line's going away as it dries out. Yeah. Well, it's going away because this was just wet, so it like changed the. Color of it. And it's still, the fabric is still pliable, the, the leather. Um, you can use them two or three times. Every time your transfer is going to be a little bit more light and more distressed because it's like the first one the image is always the best transfer and then the next one you get whatever paints left and then like some of the apothecary pulled up so that'll go into the next image but Here, you let really me bring this like a... oh i can't i can't come over that far that's why we're at an angle because my cord's only so long oh you could just zoom in yeah there we go so you can see there's no edge like on a transfer it doesn't look like a sticker and so this is going to look like a hand painted situation all right you can you can sand away if you'd like um it's still a little wet I can show them up close the dry brush technique situation. Because I get asked about dry brushing a lot. Is the front dry enough in here? Yeah, I mean, it's got a little water on it that ran over. Okay. Okay, so when you're dry brushing, you don't want your paint sopping wet. And you want to just, and this is a heavy dry brush, but you just want to bring your brush across the surface lightly. You're not putting weight on it. And all you're doing is just picking up the high areas. When you get most of it on and you don't have much paint left, then you can kind of come in and shade areas that you want a little bit heavier, but you don't want to do that when there's fresh paint on your brush because then it gets too much. But when you've salt washed the base layer, you can get all these textures. And even if you just use DIY paint, you do get some texture. The salt wash just adds a little bit more. So. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm going to dry brush and do this whole piece. Then I'll probably put some white on there and some extra patina and situation. And do you want to sand this now? Yep. Zeb's going to sand this. 220 again. Oh, that's blurring it. Um, yeah, because it was kind of wet. That's not wet. It's like powder. Oh, you're supposed to set it. So stop, stop. I was just going to wipe it. No, back over no, no. It. No, get no. the powder off. You need to set it with a, just do a thin coat, like so lightly with the big top and then heat gun it and then you can sand it. Or you can use a spray gun. Hang on, let me just get the dust off of here. Oh, that's making it worse. It was what? <laughs> I'm just going to keep smiling. Now it's blended. All right, I'll just do the big top. Thank you. Might be getting some dark wax. Oh, it's getting dark wax. <laughs> it's smearing all of this. We need to heat it or something. <laughs> no. This is too fresh. Need... It's too fresh for a live video. <laughs> You're too fresh for a live video. Stop pushing so hard. I'm barely going now. <laughs> Gosh. I, I stopped. I amended my, my brush ways. Okay, it's good. Just step away. So, hold on, I need to Just fix that. a little that. spot right there. No spot. Oh. No. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to bring this out this way so that way if there is any um, smearing 
Yeah. That looks like it's been in the rain. I love it. Oh my gosh, this is exactly what we we're going for. Oh, here I can fix it. I'm just the dabbing. <laughs> the dabbing's working. No, don't dab. The dabbing's working. <laughs> oh, Nida says I'm about to pop you. I won't. I won't hit Zeb. Oh gosh, I can't believe you're doing that. It's fixing it. We'll do the other chair the correct way on the edited video that comes out Friday. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's amazing. Look, guys, it's right. just, I just added some shading to the bottom. It's been shaded. Yeah, you have to, so you can just spray seal it. You just mix like a, like a fine mist sprayer with 50-50 big top and water, and you put a coat on there, and you let it dry, and that will set it, and then you can distress it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It'll look great. All right, guys, if you want to have your own DIY products done, you can go to jamierayvintage.com. This is the La Chasse tri uh, paint inlay. And we've got apothecary salt wash and we did use paint blue earlier. We will get these finished and edited and put them up on Friday. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Wait, 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 wait. Some things to remember. Don't put your inlay on backwards and don't touch it after it's there and it's super fresh. Just let that thing dry and don't mess with it. What he said. <laughs> Bye. Hold on, I'm trying to end the broadcast.